Hi everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks as part of MuleSoft API design. Okay, we have a concept called fragments. So in this lecture, we are going to see what is fragment, how to create a fragment, how to reuse it in our another project. Okay, how to reuse it in new APIs. Okay, that part we are going to see now. Okay, just see here. Fragment, okay. Fragment is a piece of code where you want to reuse it in another APIs. Okay, there is an API we have already developed and we want to reuse the same code into another API. We are going to use fragments. There is a concept called fragments. So these are the steps we need to follow. Okay, first we can see what we need to do. First we need to create a fragment. Then we need to use copy reusable code from an existing project then paste into the fragment, then publish into exchange. Then we need to create a new API where you want to reuse the code. Then we need to click on exchange dependency. Okay, then we need to add the dependency into our new project. Then we need to use like import reusable code globally and call the code where you want to same like traits. Okay, how we are going to all the traits the same way we are going to use the fragments also okay this is about the theory let's do it in a practical way so that you will get more idea on this okay go to any point platform go to any point platform login okay first we need to log in into any point platform so here we have a design center so here i have already designed some APIs. I'll go to this bus reservation API. So if you observe here, there is a code, okay? There is a code, there is a piece of code. I want to reuse it, okay? I want to reuse this query parameters as well as this error responses 404 and 500 in my another API. Okay, I want to create an another API for suppose this is for red bus. You can assume like this. Okay, you can assume I have already designed an API for red bus search API. Okay, I want to create another API for something like Abibus. Abibus. There I want to reuse this piece of code. That is where fragments came into the picture. That is where fragments came into the picture. Okay. I'll try to open another one. So what we need to do first, just copy, just to copy. What is the code you want to reuse it? Just copy this code. Go to any point platform. Click on this design center. Okay, first we need to create a fragment. Click on this plus button over here. So here, don't select new API specification. First we need to create a fragment. Select new fragment new fragment uh, just I will keep it as like reuse red bus code okay reuse red bus code okay so here we have many options uh, like I want to reuse the query parameters okay I want to reuse the query parameters as well as the response code so that is the reason I am going to select the Right over here, just to select the trait. Click on the create fragment. Click on create fragment. So here, just to paste. So whatever the code you want to reuse it, okay? Whatever the code you want to reuse it, okay? 
give shift to tab here so that it will get a rearrange rearrange then again i want to reuse in the responses 400 404 and 500 is common for my another api also responses See, just copy whatever you want to reuse it and create a fragment okay create a fragment the creation of fragment is done okay the indentation should follow okay now this is my fragment so what is my fragment name reuse red bus code okay so once you create a fragment publish into exchange publish this into exchange okay i am publishing now so fragment creation is done okay it is saving it is saving i'll open one more tab see first we need to identify which one you need to reuse it okay the same piece of code we need to copy paste into fragment that is done that is done now what we can do i am going to create a new api go to design center see fragment creation is done now create a new api okay new api specification i am going to create a api called okay so we was reservation okay we was reservation api something like this just observe carefully so here this one is common it's like uh, version it's a v1 so if you want you can keep protocols media type those kind of things but our main intention is how to use traits okay now just observe my path is bus stash search okay this is my resource path this is my resource path so what is the method i am going to use it here so that is called get method either you can type or you can fetch it from auto solutions okay just observe so here i need to use it okay before that how to access how to access the traits over here so the same way how we are going to access traits okay select the traits so my trait name is called bus i'll keep it as just like okay bus search or bus input okay i will keep it as bus input i'll keep okay now here we need to include our traits okay the fragments the first step is okay the first step is so if we have already seen in this one right okay create fragment copy paste the reusable code and create a new api <clears throat> here we have an exchange dependency click on exchange dependency and we need to add the dependency over there okay so after creation of new api so here we have a dependencies button just also dependencies click on this dependencies here you can see fragments click on this fragment 
click on this fragment here you can type red bus okay see this one this is the fragment which we have published into exchange exchange select this one click on this add one dependency just wait for a few seconds see now it is added here okay now it is added here again click on these files so if you observe this one exchange modules so here you can able to see reuse red bus code okay reuse red bus code so this file is read only because we have created a fragment we don't have access to edit this edit this okay again go to this root file go to this root file so here if you see there are three dots here just click on this one select the copy path select the copy path here we have created here we have declared trades bus input just use include exclamatory mark and include okay so include just copy paste this path your fragments path okay just paste it here okay control v it will work okay see as soon as if you type this one right okay here you can able to see okay the examples also okay now this is our end point so what we have done so far we have created a fragment and we have declared the fragment that's it okay now we need to reuse it so how to call the fragments over here by using is keyword is so what is fragment name bus input okay bus input see so if you see this one source destination journey date return journey date 404 and 500 so whatever the values it is available in a fragment that is added here okay that is done next just i will add the simple response click on this responses click on this 200 body application chart json example okay i'll give some dummy example like okay result bus details fetch successfully okay this is how this is how we can reuse it okay suppose i want to reuse it in another resource path or another apis the same the same steps we need to follow okay the same steps we need to follow so again just i am going to recover from the beginning just recap so what we have discussed go to an existing api go to an existing api and identify what is the reusable code okay what is the reusable code and go to any point platform and create a fragment keep all the values into keep all the values into a same place i mean into a file then either you can go to existing api or create a new api that is up to you where you want to reuse it where you want to reuse it click on this dependencies click on this fragments okay so here you can search so your fragment name okay here you can fragment name so this is your fragment name click on this add one dependency so it's already added here okay it's already added then what you can do go to files 
If you click on this exchange modules, here you can able to see, copy this path, create a trades over here and include the file and you can use it. So if you want to use this fragment in 100 APIs, you can use this same thing, okay? You can use the same fragment. So this is how we can reduce our code as well as reduce our effort. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this.